Good evening. Today we are getting our first look at the moments after a pedestrian bridge collapsed in Miami yesterday. At least six people were killed when the 950 ton bridge came crashing down, crushing cars below. Right now, crews are starting to remove debris, recover bodies and preserve crucial evidence, all while trying to figure out what caused this bridge to collapse. And here in Tucson, local engineers are weighing in on how this incident will impact the future of bridge construction. News 4 Tucson, Zach Briggs has the story. It's new at five. I'm standing on the Rattlesnake Bridge over Broadway, which serves as a gateway to downtown. As for the bridge in Sweetwater, it was supposed to be a pedestrian gateway to Florida International University. And one local civil engineer tells me he's surprised by the nature of the devastating collapse. These structures are typically designed to, be, to have a lot of redundancy, so there's, they're not supposed to fail after one element or one particular thing goes wrong with them. Dr. Mo Asani is a civil engineering professor at the University of Arizona and also serves as president of QuakeRap. He says bridges typically collapse due to a host of environmental factors. Sometimes as a result of an ongoing corrosion or gradual decay in the structure. Over the past few decades during his time at the U of A, Asani's discovered unique ways of repairing and prolonging the life of alien infrastructure. And we uh, developed a lot of technologies where we use carbon fabric and carbon products to strengthen the infrastructure such as bridges, buildings, pipelines and the like. It's not known if a fiber reinforced polymer would have prevented the Florida bridge collapse. The investigation is ongoing. But for now, Asani remains confident in the stability of bridges in the Tucson area. Tucson and Arizona, we have the advantage of being a relatively younger state and a lot of our infrastructure are not aging. Uh, and we also have a good climate. You know, unfortunately, accidents like this do happen once in a great while. Zach Briggs, News for Tucson.